Today's date is 10-20-2013 with another fantastic bull run in the S&P 500. 75% uh, of this last daily movement would be contributed to uh, Google's earnings that blew the top line and bottom line quarter. So once again, we have the correction that came down to our target. Then we came right back in this calendar year and we are once again, as we said over here, we're overbought. So it is who of you to think about how careful you would want to be moving forward. The earnings season is in full swing. Some have made their earnings, some have not. It's been a mixed bag. However, this following week that comes upon everyone is there'll be a slew of companies reporting. Once again, when we get these overbought runs, these overbought bull runs, you're going to get pullbacks. And, and everyone that we've called have made a new higher high again. The seasonality in October is that low was put in with the government shutdown. All of the various factors that played a big role. A lot of the bulls were not in the move because one thing, they were very uncertain as to what was going to happen. That's the bottom line at the end of the day. The end of the day, at the end of the day, is that a lot of people remained on the sideline. They did not want the risk because of the government volatility, the debt ceiling, which was never going to be a non-event as we had totally told people that that would not be. The shutdown was one thing. Yes, it did shave off some of the GDP growth. One of the things that we will say is, is that we're given a full warning right now is, is that the exuberant level, the complacency level, an exuberant level that we talk at various different times within these bull runs is, is that you have to be careful and know when to take some of the chips off the table. The volatility is going to decrease substantially from here at year end. The monitoring process as far as the exuberance goes is how people chase stocks up at the high. Most of the bull camp did not get in. We had a huge gap up last week from this lower doji reversal on the daily. When we take a look at the weekly, we can clearly see how it came down from these initial highs right here to the initial lows. That was, once again, a very overbought process, just as back in August was an overbought process. We've had three overbought areas within this bull run. The thing that you need to be aware of and cautious herein is, is that you don't chase the stocks when they're up there at the high. We're going to be monitoring the fear indicator. Fear indicator VIX daily volatility S&P 500 index. When we were having the corrections from this overbought level and we tested both the 10 and the 20 week moving averages a lot of this, this is a weekly chart, but on the daily volume, a lot of it was done on anemic volume, meaning that people weren't rushing in there to buy only for one reason, because that fear was up here at these highs again. And when the fear is up there at the high, as it was, it had that big gap down right here. And that's when we had the daily here. When I show you the daily gap up, that's when that lower gap up. When we gapped down in the fear indicator, we had gapped up. We never looked back. Everything was in speculation mode. What if? Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? So we know that one thing for certain that we know is, is that the speculation was running at 100%. And people had taken the path of what should I do? That path was to stay out of the way and let the markets and the government that was created all of this volatility. But nonetheless, every time that we, when, when we show the volatility, the way that it works is when that put in the high, that was the low. When that gap down, this was a gap up. And we went three, four, five, six days straight up. We took out the last highs right here. One thing I will show on that fear indicators is that we're gonna come down and put in these lows on the VIX. We'll be monitoring it very careful through the remaining calendar trading days as we end out 
August that when we were ending August over here we were putting the lows in um, when we reached the highs so at different time frames now when we end October it'll be like when we ended August okay and the thing about it was this is that September had bucked the trend and when and we came back here's that August move that I'm talking about on the chart right in here then there was a big rally to a hundred percent overbought levels again and we are going to set up a double bottom formation in the uh, fear indicator the sphere indicator is going to tell us exactly for the length of time and how many calendar days that it stays down here. Here's what a weekly looks like on the fear indicator. And we can clearly see that we had peaked up here at the very highs right below 2150. And now we're right back here where we consolidated. And remember that each one of these breakouts in the fear indicator is when the markets are at extremely overbought levels and then they reach their highs. And as they come down, markets put in bottoms. This is how it works. For the new MMTs and people around the world that follow us very carefully is, is that we're going to set up a bottom here and that we're going to be monitoring very carefully. Here's back to the daily. I'm going to show a 60-minute level of it. We can clearly see where that high was on a 60-minute level. There's that gap down. When I show the 60-minute level here on the S&P, it will reflect the same way. We'll kind of overlay these two movements right here. And we can clearly see how this high right here, we went straight down, and this was part of this last leg of the breakout. So both of them have a very clear picture as when the S&P was breaking out, we were breaking down and the fear had left the market. That meant that investors were feeling good about themselves. However, the complacency up here at multi-year highs again within the bull and we are overbought. And we can stay overbought up here, can go up a little bit higher, but there will be another pullback. And the pullback to the support level will be roughly right around that 1680 area. We did hit our target when we called for this last pullback once again. And that means carefully monitoring the fear indicator and how people try to chase performance at year end and where that risk on trade comes in. The vol volatility is going to be within the remaining part of the next three weeks of the earnings season. So stay tuned and beware that we're overbought on a weekly level and remember overbought levels on technicals lag the overall market before they make their actual reversal meaning that we can go up a little bit higher but as we stay in this overbought territory particularly on the monthly level this is that monthly lower bar right here that you can see and that's the big rally but unfortunately, when you look at a monthly stochastic, is is that that's at the top of the ceiling, which is very rare. That means that there's a lot of exuberance. However, be caution that the last six-day run was done on very, very low, low, low volume.